Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So last time we were continuing building the zoo in Canada as a part of the tutorial so that when we enter franchise mode, we are not floundering constantly, which I can guarantee you if I did not do this tutorial, I would be floundering constantly as I am still floundering. <laughs> But last time our female wolf had a little pup named Phelan and she's a little barker for sure. She's learning to howl. Mom loves her so much. And on this special day, we have been adding a few little creatures to our exhibit or our zoo to the small exhibits on this side of the zoo. I went in the wrong direction. There they are. So we have somewhere in here is an American bullfrog right there. Hello, buddy. It looks like I cannot actually click on you. That's okay. Oh, oh, geez. But we're having our vets research the American bullfrog as well as the boa constrictor, which is invisible right now. Hello. Hello. But well, we're keeping an eye on them. We are going to have the inspector coming soon, which has got me a little panicked because we have not... Oh. This is not going to go well, to be 100% honest with you. It's not going to go well at all. Unfortunately, we are losing money, not gaining money, and I can't figure out why. Oh, no, we're gaining money now! We're gaining money now! Our research is going, which is great, so we'll be able to finally get some enrichment in here for these two. I'm gonna wait to add the other two until we have done research on them. Okay, I'm sure the inspector's gonna be very upset. Can't find an accessible research center with space. So we need to add another research center. Got it. Let's go ahead and pause. Facilities, we need another research center. No big deal. I got you. Staff facilities, research center. And as I said last time, you guys, I think for just for to get this done and to get through this tutorial, we will actually end up just going with the basic builds. I got to build one thing from scratch, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but if we don't continue that, I think that's that's okay. I want to get through this so we can get to the finance, where we're actually building kind of from scratch. I'm feeling a little bit of pressure because obviously you can lose. <laughs> you can become so broke that you can't continue. But a lot of you have given me some really, really good tips on what to do for uh, making money. Okay, let me try that again. Y'all have given me a lot of tips on how to make money pretty quickly. So I'm gonna try and take those and hopefully it works pretty well. All right. So we're gonna add another little area for our staff, facilities, research. There it is. All right, Travis. Um, can I assign you? Okay. Without a free building, I can't do research. So we have a free building now. Hopefully if I hit play, that will go away. Gerald Stewart vendor can't find an accessible staff room. What? What are you talking about? Do we need more staff rooms? There's a, there's a, is that not a staff room? That's vet surgery. <gasps> oh dear. Okay, pause. I see, it looks like our staff room is a little over flooded. Oh dear. Okay, that's gonna be fine. That'll be just fine. So we need another staff room. I wish I could just kind of copy this a little bit and paste it somewhere and just kind of fit things in as I may. Maybe I could do that. Let me see what I can do. So I just simply added a, another staff room right here, essentially. <laughs> that way, you know what? If our research, or if our vet who's researching needs to step into the staff room, they can. And there we go. Okay, 
Hopefully that fixes the problem. Let's hit play and see what happens. What's going on? Vet research complete, excellent for our bullfrog. So now that we've done that, let's go in here and go to here. And we can turn all of these on. Yes, excellent. Okay, so this should be doing a little bit better. We still don't have the better enrichment up yet, but at least we have some. The welfare of this animal is still 90%. My gosh, it is snowing. Look at that snow. <laughs> and we're working on our boa constrictor. Welfare is not... Oh, how'd the inspector do... I didn't get a rating. I got one and a half star rating. That's fine. At least, uh, at least our boa constrictor is doing good. Excellent. Our sales are a little bit down. That's a little nerve wracking. Okay, but with that, we could possibly start adding some more of our little guys. People seem to love the little guys. I don't know why I just stopped the scene right here and I'm like, how beautiful is it right now? It is snowing. All of the guests are in the snow. <laughs> Oh no, I bet they're quite, quite cold. But I thought I would let the guest kind of uh, buy some things and increase our funds. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get another creature in here. Oop, there we go. Perfect, perfect. That research is complete, yes! On the boa constrictor, amazing. Oh no, education, we need to get some education in here. Okay, wait, wait, let me do this first. We're gonna click here. I wanna go ahead. Uh, I thought we did it. All right, boa constrictor. I like that these are built in. I think that's really neat and super helpful. Boa constrictor. Let's get these to the American Bullfrog. And American Bullfrog. I also want to add a donation. Here we go. Donation box. If we get a whole bunch of those in there, I have a feeling people will donate. We'll be getting a little bit more money to help support these animals. What's going on? Low welfare. That's right. Okay, I'm coming in, little turtle. Let's get your temperature correct. I'm warming it up for you, love. Let's try that and see how you do. Are we better? Oh, much, much, much better. More of that research complete as well. Perfect. This is going extremely well. And now I think we can get our final animal in there. The Western Diamondback which we will put here. And let's go ahead and see how it's doing temperature. Oh, wow. Okay, so it needs much less humidity. I mean, after all, it does live in the desert typically. Oh, it needs a little more than that. A little more than that. There we go. <laughs> and much warmer. Better? Too warm? Perfect. Already the welfare is just a little bit better for our little female. And last but not least, we need to make sure all of these read according to what is inside because people aren't gonna wanna donate if they don't know what they're donating to. The turtle and our sweet turtle. Excellent, our money's already going up. We're getting more and more guests into the zoo. Let's see how our task is going. Have at least two exhibit species in the zoo, which I feel like we've done, but okay. Oh, we're not there yet. Have at least three habitat species in the zoo. We only have one. Whoops. That's okay. We just started the next one. No big deal. Oh, and we have level two enrichment for our boa constrictor already, which means we could go ahead. Let's go into here and tell Travis to go ahead and stop. 
and start researching something else. Let's have him research the turtle. That research completes already? Let's see it. For our bullfrog! Does that mean our bullfrog also has level two? <gasps> Yay! Okay. And how's our welfare? Our welfare is excellent. Guys, we are chugging like a train. We got this. So we'll go ahead and stop and we'll have Georgette research our Western diamond back. That way they're at least getting level two enrichment. How are our wolves doing? I haven't checked them in a little bit. Oh, welfare is excellent. They're doing so well. So now we can start working on another animal to go into this exhibit. Ooh, so much to choose from. So after a little bit of research, I thought maybe we could add in some snow leopards. I'm a little nervous about that <laughs> because I've been told the bigger the animal, the more expensive that it is. All right, I went ahead and adopted a female. So we're gonna send her over to quarantine for right now just to make sure she doesn't have anything wrong with her. We didn't have to spend any actual money. We got to spend credit points. So hopefully our money can go up a little bit because we're gonna have to spend a lot to make sure she's happy here. I went ahead and put a uh, climb proof barrier all the way around our perimeter. She can't climb the glass, which is very good. Our research is chugging along, excellent. Looks like our diamond back is already done. So we'll go check on our diamond back and give it some more hiding places perfect hopefully something will come in for our turtle as well pretty soon ah uh, so it seems like our snow leopard does have something animal is infected okay vet requested so hopefully a vet will take care of that i may have to actually put a vet in charge of it Oh, are they, I guess they're just taking care of it. Oh, wow. Okay, so, yep. I guess the vet's already taking care of it. Excellent. Okay, I guess now we can just go ahead and start planning the next place that we want our other exhibit. Maybe right here would be good to have one. Hmm. What animal should we add now that won't be too extensive? Oh wow, that was much faster than I was expecting. I was looking into getting another animal exhibit started, but it looks like our little female uh, Neki, I don't know if I said that right, Neki, is ready to go. So let's go ahead and move her into here. This is where once she's in here, we are going to pause and start building this up to where she'll be happy. Uh, many guests think tickets are under price. Wait. Should I raise the prices of tickets? Hold on. How do you do that? Wait. Memorials, transport, education, facilities. Finances. Marketing. Whoa. They didn't really teach you this. How do I increase the cost of tickets? Wow, I never thought this would be a thing. Um, wait, wait, oh, 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 okay, wait, our snow leopard is here, wait, okay. I'll have to deal with this in a minute because I want to make sure our snow leopard's happy. Look at our snow leopard. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh my goodness, you are so beautiful. Snow leopards are actually one of my like top five favorite animals. It's funny, I'm cold all the time. I get cold really, really easily, but a lot of the animals that I actually like <laughs> live in cold climates. All right, so let's pause. Automatically, 
I can see her welfare is not very good. Social's good. That's the great thing about cats is they're pretty solitary as far as things go. Okay. All right, first and foremost, we have way too much long grass, not enough snow. We're gonna need some coolers. So let's go into terrain. Let's do short grass. Oh, well, we still have too much short grass. So the key is, I guess, we, we just need coolers. Okay, hopefully we have them. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, uh-oh, I don't think we got coolers. And we do have a transformer right here. So we should be able to keep our sweet, sweet girl cool. I like that we're able to hide these. We can put one on the back here. And let's put one back here. Oh, that's not how I wanted that to look, but okay. Wait a second, what? Hold on. <laughs> um, That is not quite what I meant. Here, let's... uh. Mm. No. No. Oh, much better. Now that actually looks like it's attached. <laughs> Let's try that again. And we are done. We've got coolers just about everywhere. So now we can go into terrain and start adding some snow. Oh, we have her just perfect. Now we just need a hard shelter for her. No big deal. Let's go into habitat. Beds and shelters. Now, since it is only her, I feel as though one shelter would be plenty. I just want to figure out a good spot to put it where she won't be overwhelmed. I'm thinking right here. You could still kind of see her, but she won't be super overwhelmed. Nice. And what else does she need? All right, environment. Okay, so we've got some things in here that don't quite make sense. We'll go ahead and move them and then we'll start putting in some plants, which is my favorite thing ever. Oh my gosh. Many guests think, so how do I fix this? I would love to do that. How do I fix it? <laughs> Tell me, please. Oh, okay. So we can, oh, oh. Let's do adult 12 and child six. Is that better? Is it still too low? Is it still too low? There we go. Okay, it went away. Nice. All right, show me where these are. Um, she escaped. How? How did she escape? Excuse me? Uh not animal welfare security and crime no no habitat okay how did she escape i thought i had climb proof on both sides that is not good <laughs> oh dear interesting okay i'm gonna have to keep an eye on her for that that is definitely not good. So we're gonna go ahead and pause and move some of this stuff. Was it this? Do I need to move this rock? Interesting. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select this whole thing and we're gonna go up a little bit more. I don't think it would hurt any to go up to four. Okay, let's see. Did that, did that help any? Are you done being an escape artist? Yeah? <laughs> Mini guest thinks the tickets are overpriced. Okay, make up your mind, people. How's that? Is that better? You like that? Or is it still overpriced? Make up your mind. How is she getting out? This is not good. I didn't think about this being an issue. Maybe I need to do something else. Okay, let's, um, hmm. We can't keep spending money. Maybe she can just climb it and hop right over. Huh, we may have to replace this whole thing with something that's not climbable. Okay. Idea, here we go. Okay, let's, let's try that. Maybe that will work. 
Well, it looks like she's back in there now. Let's see if she does this again. Oh, yeah, it's not going to work this time, is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> she went right to the spot where she's been escaping every time. She's just jumping? How is it not tall enough? What? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> she's just jumping. That's all she's doing is jumping. <laughs> what? That is hilarious. Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. <laughs> that seems a bit silly, but okay. Also, my guest can't decide if these are overpriced or underpriced. Let's go with four. There, I, I raised it by a dollar. You like that? <laughs> All right, for the last bit of this episode, I'm going to go ahead and check on some of these sweet creatures. I believe we got to add some more enrichment. Yes, we do. Excellent. So our turtle is going to get a little bit more enrichment. How are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. You got all the way up to level three. I love it. Interesting. Well, since we have that, let's go over to... Vet research and let's have Georgette research our snow leopard. My goodness! You just, you just jump? Is that what it is? You just jump? <laughs> oh, our poor sweet cat who's in a very, very bare exhibit. We're going to have to make sure we add stuff next time. My goodness, what are the little escape artists? <laughs> I could have sworn it said three was high enough, but I suppose not. I might go back and check to see if seven is the actual height we need, but we'll do that next time. <laughs> well, if you liked this episode and you like our sweet little snow leopard, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already and jingle the bell to get notified of when I post episodes. Don't be afraid to join Discord to talk with me every day and feel free to join Twitch so that you can see me live every week. By join, I mean follow. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Thanks again for watching the chaos unfold. <laughs> and I hope to see you next time for more Planet Zoo. Love you. Bye.